There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, printer corners, and other stuff too. Okay, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Uh, in this part of the series, I'm going to go through the uh, basic steps and the initial part of the build process. Okay, uh, so far I've got all the parts laid out on my table. I've got the website pulled up with the instructions, and then I've got my 3D printed parts over here that um, I'm going to be using. I'm hoping to go through the step-by-step, -step and ideally uh, everything will go together. Um, these directions are pretty nice that they've got laid out on the website. They look very straightforward, so here goes nothing. I just want to mention that I did print everything in PETG. Um, you can order the parts and the kit as well if you want, like the 3D printed parts. They use a PLA NGO 870 is what it says. I've never used that before. Um, it says it's supposed to be a high impact PLA. So that, but I, I think PETG is going to be just fine. You should calibrate your printer before you get printing and make sure that it's good step is just going to be inserting these LM8U bearings and they're going to go right here in this in the um, this is the Z channel or the Z platform piece so I'm going to go ahead and do that this went in pretty easily they were maybe a little tight but they've got these little this channel that's cut away so that gives it a little, enough flex you might want to check your hole just to make sure there's no burrs in there and if there are just deburred a little bit and okay, I'm on the step where I'm putting the triangle support onto the motor. So I do recommend reaming out the holes a little bit with a file, which is uh, what I did. Made it a little bit easier. Just use a file like this. I got all four screws in and I don't recommend you turn them too tight because you don't want to necessarily um, crack the print. But with this being PET G, it uh, should be able to take quite a bit of torque. Okay, on the next step, we're going to be inserting the bearings. Um, there's two of them. There's a 608ZZ and a six. 002 ball bearing. Um, make sure that you don't have any burrs or any plastic pieces. I have a little bit there, so I'm going to make sure I scrape those out real good before I try to insert it in. The plastic's out of there, it goes in pretty easy. I just use both thumbs to kind of insert it in, and it should be flush on the other side. And it's going to go in here and just repeat the same process. You might have a little bit of um, plastic on the walls or you know, maybe some seams that need to be filed down a little bit. You might want to reprint and lower your extrusion multiplier if you've got a lot of over extruding problems. But uh, mine's pretty pretty good. It's it's a little over extruded, but it's not enough to cause problems. We're gonna take these small bearings. These are 63 ball bearings, and we're gonna insert them in these slots. And then there's gonna be a screw, an M310 that goes through there. I'm gonna go ahead and get all those put in. Once again, you may wanna put a little file through these holes just to clear them out a little bit if they're um, fitting too tight. And now that I've got the screws and the bearings, I just inserted this um, nut here on this side. I'm gonna flip it over and put an M6 in this hole right here where the nut is. Say that you're supposed to let the bolt stick out on this side, not on this side of the nut, so. It's going to be used for tensioning later if we need to. But you just want to check and make sure everything rotates freely. All the bearings, um, which mine do. I've pretty much been checking that as I go. But you just want to make sure everything's rotating okay and everything looks nice and tight. The screw on the top, or an 8mm would be better than a 10mm because it seems like it's sticking out just a hair, but it can't go any further. Next piece is just inserting this 6002 bearing um, in this piece. And you want to just insert it firmly and gently. Okay, now I'm on a step where I'm going to be inserting this uh, 6002 bearing. And the directions say to, to be very um, careful because it's fragile. So you have to insert it in and it says you may even be required to use pliers to slowly insert the ball inside the reduction and to take your time. So I'm going to give that a shot. Um, it doesn't want the ball bearing to stick out of the part at all, so you have to push it all the way in. I do have a little bit of a roughness in here because when I printed this, there were supports, so hopefully that's not going to be an issue. It's actually surprisingly easy for me to get this in. Um, I think it's because I was very, I printed this part on a cali very well calibrated printer, um, so this part was, there's no issue getting it in. I did kind of push it down on the table to flatten it. 
and based on the picture i think i'm good it's um it's not perfectly flush but it's really close so i think it's good enough to insert this long lm8 luu bearing um and just went in pretty easily so uh it says you might need to use a mallet to to put that in but i didn't have to and then based on the picture you're supposed to have just a tiny bit poking out at the top and check the distance and i believe i'm right at about 18 so that should be good